Gone from Sounds of a Magazine, give me a whole yeah. She had a wonderful chat with Trey Miguel, uh, who talked about coming back to Impact Wrestling as a singles competitor, uh, some mental health stuff, uh, and uh, his love for Halloween kills as well. So I hope you guys enjoy this, and I will see you again really soon. Oh yeah. All right, Wicked. Hey, Trey, mate, are you all right? I'm doing great, man. Today's an awesome day. I'm so ready for today. I wish time would speed up. <laughs> yeah, man. Absolutely. Well, thanks for your time, mate. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, you have got a very uh, very big match coming up, Bound for Glory on Fight. Uh, are you ready to get back in the X Division title hunt? How are you feeling, mate? I feel like more than ever, the stars are aligned. This has to be it. Fans are back. We're back in Vegas. We're at Bound for Glory. Last year's Bound for Glory was in front of a sellout crowd of no one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Noise. Man. I want to be back in the fans. Uh, absolutely, not man. Road. Vegas was one of my favorite places to wrestle, or favorite cities to wrestle for with Impact. That's where I debuted. And... um I hear it's a sellout show already, too. So if that is true, according to the Twitter machines, it should be a great show. Uh, we still have one variable, though. We don't know who the third party is because tonight's episode hasn't happened yet. So I feel like once that happens and I know who the third competitor is, I can start to put together a game plan and then really make sure that everything that's supposed to happen happens. This has to be. Yeah, man, absolutely. I'm excited for you, man. And the interesting thing about you is, is you came back as a singles competitor and you just, you know, you hit the ground running. Uh, a lot of people loved you coming back and, and, and sort of re-establishing yourself uh, at the top of the impact chain. How was that coming back? I mean, it, you know, it was a while ago now. Uh, how was it coming back and, and sort of re-establishing yourself, yourself in impact at the beginning of Beginning of the year, I'm losing time. <laughs> uh, how was it coming back as a singles competitor? All right. You want to know what's something that's weird about it? So coming back, I had this worry, like, will it matter? Mm. Do people care? And then I showed up and there were no fans. So I was like, I got, I got no idea what this is. <laughs> yeah. I was like, it's crickets. Oh, there's no one here. Um, but uh, it, it. It felt really good to go back. Um, weird, you know, things were circulating, people creating stories, saying all this stuff would or wouldn't validate on the internet. And um, I went where I needed to go. Yeah. Um, I wasn't the wrestler I wanted to be, mentally or physically. Do you feel like you are the wrestler you want to be yet? I feel like if I'm not yet, I'm closer than I ever have been. Uh, I spent a lot of time going back to the gym, trying to get my body in better shape to do this. That was something that weighed on me a lot. I didn't have a good relationship with the gym or food, which are both very important. Um, and when you don't have a good relationship with either of those, you don't have a good relationship with your body. If you don't have a good relationship with your body, then your body doesn't have a good relationship with wrestling. And then everything else falls apart. So I had to take a step back and I felt I feel like taking the little two month, two and a half month off hiatus was probably one of the most beneficial things I did. Uh, Alex Shelley, who was one of my heroes and favorite wrestlers growing up, uh, he was kind enough to reach out to me after and just asked me where my head was with everything that was going on. And I was very open with him about where I was uh, with my mental health, with my physical health. And he stepped right in to help me. He gave me a, gave me a lot of advice, a lot of one-on-one -on -one time, a lot of, a lot of just being a big brother, if I could put like any real label to it. And uh, he really took me under his wing and made sure I started doing right for myself and for the right reasons. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. uh, he helped me kind of re-identify myself or find a new identity. Uh, we started with starting a, a diet to getting to a workout routine to incorporating training and working on new things in the ring and working on a new ring psychology and really just rebuilding myself as a wrestler. And since I've been back, I feel like I, I try to have a different match every time I'm there. I want to take take the person and think oh he's just a flippy and then watch them 
make them watch me on the ground for five minutes or someone that thinks, oh, well, now he thinks he's just that, then I'll take it to the air again. I don't want people to be able to predict what my matches are. And I feel like that's something that I was even beginning to do. Um, granted, I know what I do, you know what I mean? But I, I couldn't imagine as a from, from a consumer standpoint, like being interested in me anymore. I really didn't. I was uninterested in me. And that is something that I wanted to change. So it meant a lot to me to come back and offer something more than what I left with. And I feel like as long as I'm doing that every time I go out there, then I am the wrestler I want to be. Mm. That's, a, that's, a, that's a good answer, man. I'm, I'm pleased for you as well. I mean, it's interesting you say you had to take that time to reflect. And that was one of the things I wanted to ask you as well. You know, you, you're a very high impact performer, but you also put your, you know, yourself under a lot of pressure as well. How is, how, how is your doubt? What do you do to relax? How do you take downtime? Do you spend time with family? Do you listen to certain music? Obviously, you're going to go see Halloween Kills, I'm assuming, and, and the Halloween shit. Yeah, man. Yeah. So I'm looking, you know, <laughs> I love you. Man. I, love, I love your excitement for it, man. But how how is how do you spend your downtime? How do you relax when you're out of the ring? Man, um I don't I don't feel like I get to. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. But I you know, real life is what I need to escape from. So when I get to wrestle, that's my relaxation. Being around the locker room and being around my students and getting these asinine questions that they come up with or ideas and correcting or fixing or helping or molding all of that, that that's kind of where I get to, I feel like this is it. Now I'm, I'm where I want to be wrestling. It took a long time to get back to that place because those tides turn. Uh, you spend too much time in this. You need real life to be your, your getaway. I feel like I've, I'm kind of on this back and forth, but right now, wrestling's my getaway again yeah. so in between that though i still train guys still train my body if i can get away from everything i like to sit in my room and just watch some dave on hulu i love little dicky watch some halloween movies uh you season three drops tomorrow so once i see this twice tonight and then i'm gonna buy peacock tonight and watch it in the morning i might binge watch you season three all day tomorrow and watch joe goldberg the psycho <laughs> try to kill his neighbor <laughs> yeah man i gotta start that actually it's been recommended to me so now it's uh it's an extra prompt for me to go and uh, check that out man so i appreciate it crazy show crazy yeah, show absolutely um a couple more questions then um obviously you've seen uh, friends family succeed in wrestling and uh, one of the things i like to ask um, because I get to work with young people who struggle with mental health on a daily basis and they talk about success and they look at, you know, Trey Miguel and they think, oh, I'm never going to get to that level. I'm never going to be, you know, I'm never going to be on a, on television. I'm never going to reach that level of success. And so I wanted to ask you what success means to you as a person, uh, not necessarily as a performer, but if you, if you want to look at it that way, you can, but what does success mean to you? Um, from my, from my own personal perspective, whether, I mean, whether it was wrestling or music, I, I never wanted to work a full-time job. I, I did plenty of them. I've, I've had so many different jobs. And I mean, at some point during all of them, you just know what you are, or aren't meant to do like, you, you know? And so from a wrestling standpoint, I don't think you need to make it on TV for validation. I don't think you need to have the 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 twitter verification or the instagram verification or all the followers what i think success boils down to is is there a person that hates their job works it anyway saves their money when they get that check they choose to spare money that they could spend on anything else in this world but they buy a wrestling ticket because you're on it and then they save a few extra dollars that could still go towards gas or concessions or something that might actually like an emergency fund, a piggy, but anything, but they, they spend it to come get a picture or an experience with you. So that way they feel better about going back to that job that they hate and they do it once a month or twice a month. That's the most ultimate form of success, but people aren't humble enough sometimes to boil it down to that. Mm -hmm. So if you, I, I think that's the baseline for me, if I'm being completely honest, everything else past that is a bonus and that's why it can't be taken for granted. Yeah, absolutely. So, so it's about, you know, kind of uh, 
putting things in perspective for you and kind of looking at things and going, you know, I've achieved all this stuff, but there's other people out there that, that can't do that and they spend their money to come and see you guys. So I guess you've appreciated, yeah. you appreciate that platform that you have. Yeah, absolutely. Mm, absolutely, man. Absolutely. And talking about platforms, obviously, you know, impact has become a, a platform for global stars for years now, such as yourself. Obviously now we're, we're seeing people coming from new Japan. We're seeing people coming from other companies as well. Uh, I believe the term is the forbidden door. Trey, the forbidden door. Uh, absolutely. Trey, is there anybody that you want to wrestle uh, that hasn't walked through that forbidden door or is there a door you want to walk through to face somebody in particular? Yeah. Uh, Jungle Boy is a great friend of mine and I've only had the pleasure of working him, working with him one time and it was for PWG, which is mm. one of my two favorite independent promotions to wrestle for one of three favorite. I have three favorites. I won't put them out there so that way people keep guessing and always think it's theirs. But <laughs> um, that place means so much to me. And I remember um, the night that I wrestled uh, Jungle Boy, he had to leave early so that way he could go see his father in the hospital that night. And I just remember admiring him so much because of everything he was going through and his dedication to still show up to one of the biggest indies with all that pressure on top of, you know, wanting to be there for his dad and what ended up being some of his last moments, unfortunately. Um, that was one of the most admirable things I think I've ever witnessed in wrestling. And uh, I think he deserves all of the bonuses past the people just show up, you know what I mean? Um, but if I could share a ring with anyone all over again through that forbid forbidden door, it would be him first. Uh, that's a beautiful, that's a beautiful looking match, man. That's an exciting match for sure, dude. Um, obviously, uh, we're in the UK. And you can watch Bound for Glory in the UK on the on Fight TV. What is the message for your UK fans and people that have supported you for a long time? Uh, what message do you have for those people that are in the UK and, and, and have always been behind uh, Trey Miguel? All impact aside, the independents are back open in the UK and I'm working vigorously to get myself back over there because I miss the UK so much. I miss the fans, the hospitality, the wrestling, the wrestlers. It's, it's something that is rarely replicated here in the States. And if you ever find something that's close to it, it makes you miss the UK even more. And thank you for supporting through all of these hard times, because this has been the most unideal 17 18 months of professional wrestling and i feel like as a fan if there was ever an easy time to give up on it it's probably now and if you didn't that means you you really care about this the way that i believe i do so with the common interest and love for something like that all i can ask is that we continue to do this together That's so it. until i make it back over there whether it be for impact or any other promotions rev pro it sucks the south side isn't any running anymore i used to love going over there and staying with ben for a week and then rocking it out in st knots and man i'm i'm waiting i'm really waiting awesome man awesome well, we're excited to have you back and uh, just quickly anything you want to plug obviously you're training people as well you're doing lots of other stuff anything else you want to plug uh, before we finish up Aside from keeping your eyes on me, keep your eyes peeled for guys like Sam Beal and Jason Hutch, who Sam Beal has been a regular on Impact uh, since yeah, February. And yeah. my other student, Jason Hutch, has been uh, a reoccurring face on uh, AEW Dark. And those two dudes work harder for me than anyone ever has. And if I could ever take a moment to put myself over, I have to do that for them, too, because I think both of them show more heart for wrestling than I even have for it some days. Like I live vicariously through their passion sometimes when I can't muster it myself or when I'm down or anything like that. So please give them an opportunity to have a piece of your heart like you've given to me. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for your time this evening, Trey. I really appreciate it. I look forward to, to seeing you back over here, dude. Thank you so much for having me, brother. Take care, man. Enjoy Halloween kills as well. All right? Thanks. Take care, that's man. The, that's the whole thing. Yeah, man, right. <laughs>